Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll try to understand the difference between rules, stateful and stateless session using an example. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javainews.com. For this go to the rules section. So here we have implemented various examples for rules. In one of the examples we had implemented stateful knowledge session using KIE session. So this is going to be the starting point for our uh, tutorial. So here we had implemented uh, a simple stateful session for rules. You can have a look at this tutorial here. So the source code for this it can be downloaded from here. It's a Maven project. It can be imported in Eclipse as a Maven project. So this will be the starting point for the tutorial for understanding differences between stateful and stateless session. This is the a post that we are going to implement currently understanding uh, rule state full versus stateless session so let us first have a look at what are the differences between stateful and stateless knowledge session in rules then we'll implement uh, those differences programmatically to understand them so below here i have listed the differences uh, stateless session and stateful session Stateless session, any change in the facts while executing rules is not made aware to the rule engine. Stateful session, any change in the facts while executing rules is made aware to the rule engine. Dispose method is called automatically in case of stateless session. In case of stateful, stateful we have to call the dispose method ourselves. In case of stateless session, the engine is caused to fire through a call to one of the execute methods. Uh, stateful it provides a variety of methods to cause the engine to fire these are all the methods uh, the last point is any change in the facts while executing the rules is not made aware to the rules engine so if any rule is modified no other reactivation of the rule will take place in case of stateful as any changes in facts is available to the rule engine so if a rule is modified for a particular fact this change will reactivate all the rules and fire the rules that are built on the modified fact. We will now implement uh, rules using stateless as well as stateful session for the same problem statement and then we will uh, try to understand these points. So as uh, previously told uh, import the source code for the previous chapter uh, stateful session using uh, KI session that will be the starting point for this tutorial. Import it in Eclipse. So this was the project uh, that we had implemented. Here we what we were trying to do was when we run this example using this example we had calculated discount for uh, jewelry product if it was gold then the discount should be 25 if it is diamond then the discount should be something else. So we had written this rules in the rules.drl file here. So here if it was diamond then the discount was 15% if it is gold then the discount was 25% so we had implemented this using a stateful session. For understanding the difference between stateful and stateless session in rules we will be using a different use case. We will be creating a model class counter which is having uh, two uh, members name and count. The rules file that we are going to use is whenever we insert an object in rules the first rule will get fired here we will do nothing but just print the count variable and the name variable. In the second rule we will be storing the count value of the counter class in a working memory with uh, as dollar uh, $cnt. In the third rule again we are doing nothing but just printing the statement. So let's create this counter class. When we run it, uh, I'll explain this in detail. Next, we'll copy the DRL file. Finally, we will be modifying the rules test. So here we will be creating two uh, objects of type counter and inserting it.
so here what we are doing is we have created two objects of type counter and in the session we have first uh, uh, inserted counter 1 and fired the rules and then we have inserted counter 2 in the same session and fired the rules again so let's run this and see what happens so let's look at this output in more detail so when the first object uh, counter 1 is inserted it goes into the first rule so its count is 1 this one value and its name is count 1 so this is it, it is printing rule 1 in the second rule again the value is 1 and the count value that is accumulated it is 1 so this value it is printing it is 1 this uh, remember this value it is stored in the working memory of the session and the counter 3 uh, gets printed we have we are not printing anything here when the second object is inserted counter 2 in the first it again prints that the count uh, value is 2 so this value is 2 and the name is count 2 what is interesting here is this statement when it goes into the second rule the value of count which is there in the rules working memory it changes it changes to 2 so the rule for object 1 that is counter 1 is fired again if you will see this and then again once this rule is fired for counter 1 it then gets executed for counter 2 so this is what happens in a stateful session in uh, rules if any variable in the working memory it gets changed all the rules associated with that change variable they will get fired again so counter 1 uh, object it was associated with count 1 variable cnt1 variable so it 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 got fired again whereas in stateless session this would not have been the case even if the cnt1 value was changed uh, the rule for the counter 1 object it would not get fired again we'll see this in further example next we'll be implementing stateless session for the same scenario so in case of a stateful session we had seen these two rules any change in the facts while executing to the rules is made aware to the rule engine and as any change in facts is available to the rule engine so if a rule is modified for a particular fact this change will reactivate all the rules and fire the rules that are built on the modified fact so here again we are modifying this fact count cnt1 so the rule associated with this that is the counter one it gets uh, executed again now let us implement the same scenario for a stateless session and see how uh, this use case behaves so in stateless session only the way we load the session will differ all the other classes they will remain the same Also, the other thing we'll have to do is, since this is a stateless session, we don't require this K session rule. So, delete this. Now, we'll run this class. So, here we can see that in case of stateless session, the counter 1, it gets executed first. So, we have created again two objects, counter 1, counter 2, and we have executed these two objects counter one and counter two using uh, session uh, stateless session that we have got from here so here we can clearly see that when the count variable cnt variable uh, it gets uh, modified the rule associated with counter one it doesn't get executed again so uh, there is no association uh, between the counter one that ran and the counter two that ran so this is a stateless session so here we can see for stateless session any change in fact while executing the rules is not made aware to the rule engine so any change so we have modified the variable cnt but it is not made aware to the rules engine 
any changes in facts while executing rules is not made aware to the rule, rule engine so if any rule is modified no other reactivation of the rules take place so in this case the rules related to counter one they do not get executed uh, hope you have understood the difference between stateful and stateless session the source code it can be downloaded here for stateful and stateless session thank you